Hey everyone, it is Professor Lee and I am uh, making this short video as promised to show you what will be included in the kit of uh, clinical supplies that I'm sending you so that we can finish your competencies for the semester via Zoom. So um, first of all, don't mind my nails, quarantine. Um, Second, the first thing that will be that you'll find in there or it will be somewhere in there is a little Ziploc bag and it has a um, strep uh, kit in it, testing kit. So you'll see that there's this little um, strep dipstick there and then also there is a swab for your uh, throat specimen, which I'll tell you how to do. And then there will be a tongue depressor to hold the tongue down and out of the way while you do the throat swab. And then there's this little tube here. Um, and this is the tube that we're going to mix the um, solution in to complete the test uh, for the strep A. So we're going to mix solution in air. There are two solutions. I put them in different syringes and labeled them so you can see um, that this is strep test B solution in the gray syringe um, in this bag and then also strep test A solution. So do not inject these into anybody. You shouldn't be injecting anybody at your house anyway, but these are strep developer solutions. So make sure that you are only using this syringe and this syringe that come in this bag for this skill. Okay. That's super important. Also, there is only enough in there for you to do one test. So if you accidentally squirt the syringes out or push them and it comes out while the cap is still on, you're going to be out of luck. Um, so you be very careful with the syringes that have these solutions in them. Okay. Um, lastly, after you put those syringes into that little plastic vial I showed you, you're going to take droplets from that vial and place them onto the cassette. So there's a kit there for you to do the strep test. So the um, next thing, you're gonna have a bunch of gloves. I think I put like five pair of gloves in each box. You will have um, several chucks, four or five chucks to lay out in your workspace when we do these. Um, you will have a urine cup and the urine cup is going to go with some of the contents of this bag. So there's a separate um, Ziploc bag and inside this Ziploc is uh, a couple of things. One is this urine result um, sheet that you can report your urine results out on. I'm going to have you complete that and upload it to Canvas. And then the second is the urine result um, color guide for the dipstick that you're going to do. So you can kind of see there that it looks like the side of a bottle um, would. And what we're gonna do with that is we are going to have you dip the stick into the urine and then at the allotted amount of time specified on the side over here. So there's a whole nother YouTube video loaded into the module for this. So make sure you watch it before we do this together. But you can see that you read the leukocytes at two minutes and it starts down at the bottom with the glucose at 30 seconds. So basically you're going to read from the bottom up with this test strip. And you can see that the test strip colors match those of this result sheet. So you're going to dip it in urine and after 30 seconds, you're going to match up that bottom box with whatever color it is that it matches most closely to down here on the bottom. And then that will be your result. And then you move up. So uh, glucose, bilirubin are 30 seconds, ketones 40 seconds. I'm trying to read this backwards. Um, specific gravity is 45 and then the rest of them are 60 all the way up until the leukocytes. Um, in which case you would read the top score after two minutes have elapsed. So you're going to want to have a stopwatch or a timer or something so that we can complete this test together um, on Zoom. Okay, so that's the result sheet. On the back side of it is the directions to complete your hemocult collection. And your hemocult card is also located in the same bag. And so you have the fecal occult testing or hemocult, same thing. And you have the little um, spatula to scoop the stool specimen up onto that card. And then the last thing in this bag 
is the Hemocult Developer Solution, which comes in one of the insulin syringes, the, the um, orange insulin syringes. So again, you want to be very careful not to waste the tiny bit of solution that is in these syringes because this is all we've got to work with, okay? And um, you're going to need this in order to complete that Hemocult test. So you're going to essentially... Once you have the stool specimen on, you're going to drop a little dab here and a little dab here. And then, um, oops, I'm sorry, wrong side. Yeah, no, I was right. You drop a little dab on there, and then if it turns a certain color, it's positive. If it doesn't, then it's negative. So that's how this is going to work. This will all be in one bag for you. I need to get a new hemocall card for that baggie. So urine results sheet, urine color guide your analysis dipstick and the hemocult um, testing contents and then the hemocult developer will be in here you have another bag that has um an ampule a glass ampule i don't know if we i can't remember if we got to these in class or not so i'm sending them but you have a glass ampule some alcohol swabs and some two by twos to to open those so we can open that together and then you also have um, we need to do the administration of oral medications and so you have an oral med cup along with a little ibuprofen package this is actual ibuprofen so don't give this to anybody that shouldn't be taking ibuprofen okay um so there you go that is that ziploc bag so you have three small ones and then we have a large ziploc bag as well and in that large ziploc bag you have a ton of stuff so this is all of the first aid um kit stuff all of the supplies there's a reusable zipper bag in here if you want to make your own little mini first aid kit using some of this leftover stuff you can um it's good to keep in the car you have a povidone iodine stick that um, we're going to swab skin with you have some sting relief you have uh, a couple of different sizes of sterile gauze so we got those we have uh, large bandages paper tape and uh, rolled gauze, so we need those. We have some antiseptic wipes and some sting relief in here also. So we've got that. And then lastly, we have an ace bandage so I can teach you how to wrap. And then we have the cold compress also. So this, all of those things in the large kit are um, intended for the basic first aid and um, those uh, skills. All right, so almost to the bottom of the box. Next, for pediatrics, you have a pediatric uh, tape measure so we can do head and chest measurements. We're gonna have to try to find somebody or a baby doll or something to measure on. I have uploaded digital versions of these in Canvas for you to complete an EHR Go. However, I did want you to be able to see what a paper copy looks like. And um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have you do anything with these yet, but I'd order them for this class, so I'm sending them to you. Um, but these are the pediatric growth charts. And next, you have, I'm looking for something I just lost. Next you have, I just found a urine stick on the floor. You have the um, Snellen chart. So this is for, to do the visual uh, acuity proficiency. I don't know this, I had to rubber band them to get them in the boxes. So you're going to get a snow and chart and I will have you stand 20 feet back, cover eyes or instruct someone in your home to do so. Um, so make sure you watch the video for uh, visual acuity examinations also that is posted in that module because I assume that you will be doing your part and watching the videos and know what you're doing by the time we get to this. Okay. Um, so you'll have a, a snow and chart and you will also have a Barbie doll. Um, now, most of these are bendable. Our headband's coming off. 
Most of these are bendable. A couple of you are getting ones that are not bendable. Bendable, excuse me. They don't. She doesn't have joints that articulate. So um, this one does. And most of them look exactly like this because I bought a bunch of the same dolls. Um, and what we are going to use this for is patient positioning. So I was able to find enough of them um, with the exception of two. So for those two of you that get the Ken dolls that do not bend, we'll, we'll, we will modify and improvise when we do your checkoffs on Zoom, okay? But for the most part, um, they bend. So if I tell you to put her in the lithotomy position, then you should be able to do that. If I tell you to put her in prone or supine, then um, you know you should be, do, be able to do that. And um, if I tell you to put her in Sims, then you should be able to do that. So um, you want to uh, keep a hold of her. Now, I do need these um, Barbies back after the quarantine has lifted and we're allowed to go back to campus. So please hold on to these. Also, please hold on to those Snellen charts because I'm going to need those as well. Um, everything else, I think you are free to keep. Um, perhaps the ace bandages, if we can hold on to those and bring those back. Um, a couple more things in here. Let me show you. So you are going to have a wound culture swab. And so this is a uh, sterile swab. And I'm going to show you how to swab the skin for wound care. So, and then lastly, uh, you will have two sets of EKG leads, and then also I've included a cards, the a copy of one of the cards that I have made up for students to show um, EKG lead placement on the chest. And so we're gonna, we can't do the EKGs from your house and from my house. However, um, I can teach you lead placement and that is half the battle so then hopefully over the summer when we're allowed back on campus if we're allowed back on campus then i can teach you how to hook up the wires and run the actual ekg but at least we can get half of it done um, with just basic lead placements so um that is the contents of this box that i am shipping to you um if you don't get something in your box that is included here, then let me know. We'll figure out how to work around that. Um, I made these up last night while I was watching Ozark, so I might have been a little distracted, and you all know how I am anyway. Um, if you need anything else, please do let me know so that um, I can get you taken care of. I want to really try um, to make our best effort to get these skills taught um, virtually as best as we can and that's going to require communication and cooperation on your all's part too so um, i hope everyone is safe and healthy and staying at home self-quarantining and um, that your families are okay and taken care of also so i will talk to you all soon um, take care